Okay, uh, this is um, how to solve certain problems with your um, prints. I had this first problem about two months after I bought the Creality and I've just had it again, so another two months into that. As you can see over here, basically it prints, the whole thing shifts over a little bit, goes up and then goes back to where it was originally. So you get sort of a shift. Sometimes you'll get it again a bit later up and again a bit later up. Um, it's a bit hard to see. I think you understand, just looking at his leg. Right, it goes up okay, it then shoots across a little bit, does it okay for a while, and then shoots back out again. Now, the, what that is, is... Oops. I'm trying to get this. Is the... This thing is screwed to the back with a couple nuts, I think. It was when I took it apart the last time. Forgive that. These are where I put a new silent fan on it. Um, and that was the job I did at the time. Okay, so this is attached to the back with a couple bolts or washers, I can't, uh, nuts and washers or screws, I can't remember. Okay, so the way to fix it, so basically what is happening is your print's fine, everything's good, and then all of a sudden, what happens, it will hit a bit of the plastic and shoot, oh, if I put it all, one way it will shoot to that side because the nuts are sort of tight but not could be tighter what then happens it moves the whole print over later on it might hit another bit on the way back and it will just give that one millimeter back the other way and then later on you might have done a, another half inch of the thing i can feel it a little click and the whole thing clicks over by a millimeter because of the tolerances in the holes that are holding this on so the way to do it basically oops, is to unscrew these two that's the hardest thing is actually getting them back in you can take them out uh, and then you're just left with this attached with a couple of screws again they just need a really good tightening what I do is I'll do that now actually so I'm going to undo these two screws Okay, I've taken the cover off. That's housing that the fan. Right now down here, don't know if we can actually focus, but right, so that's okay. I think that way. But I don't know if you can actually see that. Look, three, two, one. Oh, no, I did. It's so minuscule, but. I suppose if I hold it back you can see it, it's actually wobbling. And that is the wobble you get. So you hit something hard, goes one direction, hit something later, goes back the other direction. So that's why you get the, the step. Oops, that looks like it could do with being renewed. Well I'll look at that in a minute. So all you have to really do, sorry, I'm trying to work whilst doing this, is to screw these up as tight as possible. That might be it. I'll give it. Oh, sorry, that might be it. I've just tightened those. See if I can go a bit more. Again, nobody wants to thread anything, so I'll do it. Right, that went a bit more that time. Okay, I'll show you again a bit further outside, maybe. But that's the problem and the cure. Okay, or you then have to put everything back. Maybe it's best to put a box underneath it because these are small parts. You can easily lose them. Okay, hopefully you can see a bit better the problem here. That might be the best position where it's going up okay. If it gets knocked to one side and then back again. If you look in the other direction it should be fine. It's only in one direction. It goes up. Okay, I had it again yesterday when I first noticed it again. And as you can see from here, this would have been the front. As it's going up, everything gets tilted one side. I mean, it could have gone back again uh, if it had been not the other way. 
Okay, I mean there are ways in cure you could actually um, stop that possibly. Um, but obviously the mechanical way is the best way. I mean in cure you can have it so as it does a layer, it comes up a bit before it does the next layer. Or it's, you know, so it's always rising up before it's laying down again. So it never actually accidentally hits the uh, extruder. Okay, that's it. If you're getting this problem, just give your um, nozzle a good push left, right. I mean, it's, you're going to have to push it a bit hard. It's not just going to go. I mean, it might do, but mine have always been a little bit hard. But once it's done, you can see that it's actually clicking over. Okay, please like, subscribe, press the bell button, all that. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions, please ask.